Hey everybody, Dr. Dan here. Welcome back. So this is a supplement to chapter 10 and uh, the lecture in chapter 10 is about two years old and it's pretty good. So other than looking a little bit uh, skinnier and thinner, it's still very relevant. So that's what we're doing for the main lecture. But I wanted to add this supplemental in because I think if you look at our class right now, what's happening in Ukraine is probably one of the most important developments in contemporary world history, certainly in all of our lifetimes. And if you remember what we've been reading about with the Cold War and with the animosity between the U.S. and the USSR, then it makes sense that the war in Ukraine or the actions in Ukraine are even more important to us because really it's the restarting of the Cold War, which is the big news for this type of history in this era. So just what I wanted to say about it in relationship to this chapter is that on page 263 of your text in chapter 10, there's a little blurb about the role of NATO. And um, in, in the book, it talks about Russia and Putin already taking over Crimea, so that it already happened. But because the book is a year or two old, of course, the recent stuff in Ukraine, which is only a year old, um, March in 2022 is when that started, um, isn't in the book yet. So this little supplemental thing is just so you understand why the Ukraine issue is a big deal and why the U.S. is supporting Ukraine by sending arms, unlimited arms at this point, over there to help the Ukrainians uh, keep Russia, you know, at bay. And there's a little map here, and this is a map of Ukraine. Most of you are familiar with it, but, but sort of the big deal is if we zoom out and we look at where Ukraine is at um, in, in relation to Germany, and if you're looking at the center of this lower map, this green area is Ukraine. You can see the Black Sea right below it. But then if you go west, uh, not that far, you're into Poland. I mean, Ukraine borders Poland, and Poland is a NATO country. We'll talk about that in a minute. But then Germany is right here, and so is France. So the distance between where the fighting is happening and Western Europe that you know of, you know, Germany and France and, and even Italy for that matter, the distance is short. And the reason that the U.S. is freaked out about this is because if a country like Russia can just come in and take over another country, like Ukraine, it's not a democratic process. What's to stop them from going into Poland, for example? Uh, Russia already holds sway over Belarus, so why don't they just expand into Poland after this? And the way Putin is uh, being aggressive towards Europe, that could very easily happen. So that is why the U.S. is helping Ukraine out, because they don't want Putin to move farther west than Ukraine. So believe it or not, in the modern world, when most of us kind of want to get along, um, you know, this stuff is still going on, and this is right out of Cold War, uh, this is right out of Russian Empire stuff that goes way back. So I just wanted to point that out. And the other thing I wanted to point out was, because the book talks about NATO, is this notion of NATO's Article 5. So Article 5 of NATO is a huge deal, and, and seriously, it could affect all of us personally, because Article 5 says that if a NATO member is attacked, then every other member of the alliance will consider it an act of war or an act of violence um, uh, against all the members. So what that means is if, if one of these Russian missiles goes slightly off target in Ukraine and lands in Poland, Poland's a NATO member. So if Poland gets hit with something, then all of the Western countries, including the U.S., we're at war automatically. And so it's, it's kind of a big deal, and it could happen any day, and hopefully it won't happen. Uh, because I think that Russia knows um, if, if something like that did happen, it would be the end of them. So it's a big deal. It's not something we need to be super frightened about right at the moment, but it is something we need to pay attention to. And as you read about um, uh, Ukraine in the news, or if you're paying any attention to it, one of the things that's really troubling right now is you know, n not, not everybody in the U.S. supports uh, is sending all of these arms and all of this money to Ukraine. And, and that's okay. You know, everyone's entitled to their position. But the political debates are starting to heat up. And if the U.S. decides to back off on supporting Ukraine, then it would probably fall relatively quickly. 
So that's the supplement for chapter 10. It's probably the most important part of the whole course. And uh, maybe we'll rewrite the course to give it more attention. But for now, it's a good thing to pay attention to. And I hope that it helps you um, understand the Cold War and the implications of Ukraine a little bit better. That's it. Have a great day. Take care now. Bye-bye.